This is objective 67, example 2. Suppose we have the equation y equals 3 over x plus 1, x minus 1. So again, I'm graphing a rational equation that has asymptotes. So to start the problem, I am going to determine what my vertical asymptotes are. Now there are two of them in this case, because I have two instances of x in the denominator. The first vertical asymptote comes from the expression, or the part of the expression that is x plus 1. And the second vertical asymptote comes from the part of the expression that is x minus 1. In each case, I take that quantity and set it equal to 0, and now I solve. So one vertical asymptote is that x is negative 1, and the other vertical asymptote is that x equals positive 1. The next thing I want to check for are horizontal asymptotes. Well, similar to example 1, the degree of the numerator is 0, and the degree of the denominator in this case is actually 2. Because if I did the multiplication of x plus 1 times x minus 1, that becomes 3 over x squared minus 1. So when I determine the degrees here, this has degree 0, and this has degree 2. And remember that when the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, that implies that your horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0. So we can go ahead now, come to our graph, and insert our asymptotes. So x equals negative 1. x equals positive 1. And y equals 0. Now the denominator is going to create something a little bit more than what we had in the first example. We are going to have three different curves here. And as I set up my t-table, this one's going to be pretty significant. I'm going to have an x value of negative 1 that's undefined. I'm going to have an x value of positive 1 that's undefined. And I'm going to need to find values to the left of negative 1, between negative 1 and 1, and to the right of positive 1. That will give me enough to draw the curves. So if I'm going to the left of negative 1, I've got negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. I substitute those back into the equation, and I end up with values of 1, 3 eighths, and 1 fifth. Values between negative 1 and 1 are not, easy, not easily done here. We're going to have to use 0, and then we're going to have to use partial values. So 1 half is a friendly partial value. Uh, if you substitute negative 1 half into the equation, you end up with negative 4. If you substitute 0, negative 3, and positive 1 half, you end up with negative 4. Now values to the right of 1 are 2, 3, and 4. And substituting those values in, we have 1, 3 eighths, and 1 fifth. Okay, so there are going to be three different curves here because the regions are separated into three different regions by our asymptotes. So negative 4, 1 fifth, negative 3, 3 eighths, negative 2, 1. negative one half negative four zero negative three one half negative four so we're going to have a mini parabola on the inside and on the other side of our asymptote we'll have two one three three eighths four one fifth and again we can draw our curve to almost mirror our asymptotes so there's the graph of y equals 3 over x plus 1 times x minus 1.